Hi guys, Larry for Kilo, and we're going to be talking about Revive. Revive is a post-workout formula. So in order to take Revive, what do you have to do? You've got to work out, right? You've got to do something. You've got to earn this. And after our hard workout, the body is primed to repair, right? We've done damage. That's what the workout is. Now we want to repair. So we want to maximize that repair process. So when we come back to the gym, when we come back to uh, train again, we want to be fully recovered and ready to go again. So there's some kind of goals I want to accomplish after my workout. I want my body to be able to um, repair in its best way possible. The first thing I want to do, we've been training, which is damage, so I want to return off, I want to turn off those signals of damage. Uh, one of the ways we do that, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of amino acids, those begin to turn off that damage. One of my favorites for this, however, is called HMB. HMB has been around for a long time, but the truth is back in the 90s, we never used enough, right? We'd probably use 250 milligrams to a gram. That's not enough. Uh, what we want to use is about three grams of HMB to really get the benefit of turning off damage. And another benefit that we'll get to about uh, HMB in just a minute. Nice thing about Revive, it has a full three grams in the one serving, which is awesome. So we've turned off damage, now I want to turn on repair. So there's some different things we can do for uh, turning on repair. One of the first things we want to do is get some amino acids in there. These are the building blocks of muscle. This is what the body needs to repair. And so what they found is we don't have to do like we did in the past and back in the 90s, 2000s. You guys probably read articles that said you have to do 40 grams of protein and 200 grams of carbohydrates, right? There was just this huge uh, shake that you had to do every time. Well. Over the years, they've been able to try and distill down and figure out, okay, what is it in there that's really the powerhouse? And they found it's very specifically certain amino acids that help drive that repair process. So we're gonna use uh, some carbs, some amino acids. You don't have to go crazy with carbs. We've got about 10 grams of glucose polymers. It's gonna help drive that process. Um, then we've got the amino acids. But in addition to that, we have something called Velocitol. Now Velocitol has got some really cool research on it showing that it actually doubles protein synthesis against placebo. So Velocitol is a combination of a starch and chromium, and that special um, combination is what they did the research on, and they're actually showing an increase, doubling your protein synthesis, and that's really turning on repair. So we've accomplished those two things. I also wanna to start to work on the nervous system because when you train, you do strain your nervous system to some extent, so something like a good dose of B vitamins, a kind of an old school approach, it still works really well, and we want to help restore that nervous system. So when we come back that next day, or two days, whenever it is, it's not just our muscles that are repaired, but it's our nervous system that's ready to fire again. Okay, so we also want to work on replacing what we've used. When we trained, we used things, right? Every time we exercise, we use up materials, we're gonna put some of those back. One of the things we need to put back is glycogen. That's the, the glucose that's in the muscle cells, it's ready to be used. So we'll do that with some of those carbohydrates, we're also going to do that with a regular meal about an hour or two after we've taken our post-workout drink. We also want to restore ATP. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. One of the ways we do that is with creatine. Creatine helps us make more ATP. And the creatine we use is a creatine magnapower, and that's a creatine bound with magnesium, basically two birds with one stone, right? We want to restore the ATP and creatine helps us do that. We also want to restore magnesium, because magnesium is one of uh, the things that we use up while we exercise. And of course, electrolytes, you'll find a good source of electrolytes in here as well, and we'll combine it with water, we're trying to rehydrate as well. So we're accomplishing all those goals. At the same time, we want to turn off damage, turn on repair, help the brain, the nervous system recover, and we want to reload what we just used in our training session. And all that you can accomplish with a really actually surprisingly good tasting revive.